Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you an Iceland volcanic update Monday, April 5th, around 8.30 p.m. Mountain Time 2021. Iceland volcanic eruption in Glendengalder Valley has increased tenfold. Hikers scramble as new fissure opens up at Iceland Volcano. The new eruptive fissure opened one kilometers northeast of the current eruption site. And here you're looking at a picture of that fissure, almost 500, half a kilometer wide, and it is flowing massive quantities of lava down the valley. A new eruptive fissure opened today, approximately one kilometer northeast of the so far active eruption site. The seismic network detected at 1137 local time, a sharp peak and tremor at one kilometer's depth which announced its formation shortly after as magma broke through the surface along a new section further upslope on top of the active magma intrusion underneath. Now the April 5th update coming from Iceland Geology. A new fissure opens up northeast of Glendengalda Valley. The new fissure started at 1137 UTC 5th of April when a magnitude 1.5 earthquake most likely took place in Fagradisfal mountain, the new fissure is expanding. But I am now estimating that the current length of the new fissure is 1.2 kilometers. Based on Roof News webcam reviews, the fissure is northeast of the earlier eruption in the Glendengalda Valley. There's a picture again. The larger fissure is around 300 meters long, according to reports. Part of it seems to be under its own lava flow, based on what I'm seeing on new videos of the fissure. The second fissure is 10 to 30 meters long. There's also a one single eruption vent in the area just outside of the fissure area. And we're going to be seeing that all live in just a second here. Little sneak peek there, the new eruption area with the massive fissure with three highly active areas and another valley currently being filled with lava. Here is the most recent update from Iceland Geology on the current fissure. There has been a slight increase in micro earthquake activity and we can confirm that. And you can see right there, boom, the micro earthquakes have increased all of a sudden after that fissure opened up. There's been a slight increase in micro earthquake activity along the dike after new fissures opened up in Fagradishfall Mountain. Most of them are interestingly forced on an area close to Khalil Mountain. So the seismicity increases once again. It is reported that the lava flow from the new and old eruption site is now more than what was at the old eruption site and is now double the highest total from before at 10 cubic meters per second. Craters are building up at the new eruption site that might change the lava flow long term and there is a risk that is going to flow towards Glendengalda Valley in the next few days. There's a high risk of new fissures opening up both to the north of Glendengalda Valley where the first eruption Bob is and north of Fagradishfall Mountain where the second eruption is currently happening. Lava is now flowing into the Meradalir, Meradalir Valley. The valley is far larger than when Glendengalda Valley and won't fill up as easily. There seems to be more water in this valley as well that might result in a lava explosion if the lava gets that far down the valley. Wow, and we have some amazing footage coming as soon as the fissure opened up uh, directly from Iceland. Let's take a look. I only have a little bit of it parsed up here, so it's going to pause after a second. But there is that new freshly formed fissure. almost as exactly as I predicted it to, to look. If you remember earlier videos about a month ago, I said this baby would open up, could be kilometers long. And then there's this huge amount of lava flowing into the new valley. And down here looks like a lake. So if the lava hits the lake down there, <whistles> free atto magmatic. <whistles> so that could be a pretty fantastic event. And the lava has already made it down this far. So it won't be long before it hits that lake or that reservoir, whatever that is. And that is just a wide open area. And look at how much in the very beginning of the fissure has already been deposited in this valley. It's absolutely spectacular. Imagine taking a Coleman aluminum canoe on here. You'd last just a few minutes as your feet slowly baked and the canoe melted. 
But on a serious note, absolutely fantastic what is happening in Iceland and the footage that we can bring to you like this live from the new Fisher eruption. Here we are in at least 480. And that was the exact region we just looked at it only from a different angle looking in. The, the drone was up top here. Let me just play this and get it live. There it is. The drone was flying up top here looking at the, and we were looking at the river flowing down and the lava being deposited in the valley. The lake is just below here. So that's the state of affairs in the new Medler Valley, I think, or something like that. And the new fish eruption, which is extremely active in multiple areas. One, at least, look at that splatter up there. This is becoming quite a spectacular event uh, in the new fissure. Wow, look at the power. And who knows what's going on over here? Something else in the middle. So that's one live stream I'm going to leave you with. And then we'll leave you with the original live stream from RUV of Bob. Which doesn't seem to be uh, any less active. Still sp spattering in both arenas there. So fantastic what's happening here. This is just some spectacular footage here. We'll just let that run through for a few more minutes. Fantastic. So a new, new fissure has opened up in multiple lengths for a distance of 1.2 kilometers, now filling a, a valley to the northeast of the original Glendon Galder Valley. And the eruption has increased in magnitude at least twofold in volume output of lava and fivefold size of erupting sites. So amazing activity in Iceland. Hope you got something out of the video. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. When volcanoes, they be exploding. Thanks for watching. Share this with like-minded people. Check out the live streams. And be safe. We love you. That's a boom. Big shout out to John Christie as well. Nanny, 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 nanny.